Aaron was actually working for a, a law firm. And uh, Ed Masry, I had met, bumped into him a couple times. And he came to me and said, you know, Tom, I think this could be really a good case. And I think maybe you would have the ability to handle this thing because it's going to cost a lot of money to get it ready and so forth. So I said, okay, great. I'll give you just a little background. I don't want to spend too much time. But when the gas comes in from El Paso to run the generators at PG&E, it's too hot to put in the generators. So they run it up a pipe and they cascade water over the pipe to cool the gas. Then they run the generators. The problem with that is, though, the water rots the pipe. They rust and so forth. But if you add chromium, chromium is a rust inhibitor. So you can add chromium to the water, the pipes don't get rusty, and that's how it works. But then what PG&E would do, the used water with the chromium in it, they'd simply, you know, put it on the, throw it on the ground, but it would migrate down to the water table. And all the people at Hinkley, their sole source of water was, was well water. So they were drinking this water which had chromium in it. And they had a lot of cases of cancer cropping up and things like that. We thought that, BG, this could really be a good case. The problem is that the time that this case went forward, there were no articles about drinking chromium causes a problem. There are a lot of articles about smelling chromium, welders, because the chromium, next thing you know, they had esophageal cancer and so forth, but nothing about drinking chromium. So indeed, we contacted a doctor back in D.C. He says, oh, Tom, we can cure that. So the next thing you know, he got a thousand rats. Half of them he gave the water at Hinkley, half of them he gave normal water. And the water at Hinkley, the rats, almost all of them, started developing tumors. And that was the first inroad into chromium uh, like this, causing a real problem. The other thing about the case that was somewhat important it was one of the first cases that warned people about environmental problems. You know, now we're all familiar with, gee, this thing can hurt you, this can cause cancer, this can cause... But then it really wasn't much of an issue. So obviously the fact of Aaron made a big... Uh, was, was really important. It gave that case, uh, you know, a lot of, a lot of looks. But the idea would be we really did some good there in terms of warning the people about all sorts of toxic things and how they can harm people. One of the greatest things that happened to me, shooting that movie, I was on the set every day. I got to know Julia Roberts. And to this day, uh, we, we still have the chance to say hello now and then. So that's the real benefit of being a trial lawyer.